So let's say it. Drop, drop cover, cover, and hold on. hold on. They are three simple steps that could save your life. Drop, cover, and hold on. Many in the Golden State have simply become indifferent to warnings about them. Plus, many believe that some level of risk is unavoidable, so they feel less motivated to prepare for unexpected emergencies. So I wanted them to understand why earthquakes happen and how earthquakes can affect them. Because if you're just told you got to do this, you're told you got to do a lot of things. But when you really believe that earthquakes are part of your life, you take it more seriously. The Great Shakeout Drill, held worldwide on the third Thursday of October each year, is hoping to change people's minds and get them prepared. What makes earthquakes so deadly and dangerous is they don't happen very often, but when they do, they're so destructive. So time passes and we kind of forget about it. And many Californians weren't around at the Loma Prieta or Northridge time. They weren't born yet or they didn't live here. And it's so we, we need drills like these to keep it top of mind and to practice what to do, how to drop, cover, and hold, so you have that muscle memory. Participation yeah, has been increasing since the very on. first drill in 2008. Okay, fire department. In 2013 alone, more than 24 million people, including 9.5 million in California, sign up to duck under their desk, cover their heads, and hold on to something sturdy. <laughs> <laughs> and there they go. Drop, cover, and hold on. Shakeout is a big day for us. It is an opportunity for everybody to drill their plan. Because you know when you're at a stadium, people do the way, they go up. And with the shakeout, everybody goes down, right? So it's like a reverse wave. And it's happening in more than 60 countries. Who's hurt? Who can get up? Who can walk? Additional companies? Line 4, 21. In Los Angeles, firefighters practice evacuating students pretending to be in or trapped by falling debris. They also put out a fake fire that erupted in the classroom at an elementary school. Fire service is like anybody else. They've got to train to hone those skills while they use a lot of them every day. Uh, the, the major catastrophic event that we're expecting, they're really going to be on their toes. Good girl. In the San Francisco Bay Area, the Tech Museum in San Jose was a place where hundreds of students got to practice what they need to do should the ground shake when they are on a field trip. This is a great audience to be able to talk about emergency preparedness. They're young, they're impressionable, you can, you can send the message, they can, you can reinforce it multiple times with them, and they, they then think through that and they take it home and they share it with their parents. This annual opportunity to practice how to be safer during big earthquakes is a good reminder to start an emergency plan with your family if you don't have one and get your emergency kit ready. You should plan to be self-sufficient for about 72 hours following an earthquake. Prepare today to survive and recover. Plan now to survive this event so you and your loved ones can carry on down the road. Prepare now so you and your family can survive, recover and get your life back to normal after the next big earthquake.